off again. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Do you know what that means? Peace be upon you. It means peace. And I want to congratulate everybody here tonight, especially those who've taken a leading role for maintaining the peace. Round of applause. Peace is a valuable thing. Peace is the most valuable thing. I've worked in war zones. I've worked in Iraq. I've worked in Somalia. I've worked in Syria. I've worked in Yemen. I've worked in very, very horrible places where there has been no security. And believe you me, before you even think about being hungry, before you even think about being thirsty, before you even think about being tired, you have to be in a state of peace. peace. So thank you to everybody who's kept things peaceful. Hey. Thank you. The fact that all you people are here this evening and there are hardly any other people who accepted the invitation of hate and violence and division speaks a lot for the people of Liverpool. I have to be fair. I have to be fair. And in the same way that I've been speaking to the uh, people who've been joining the racist protests, I have to be fair and remind myself and remind you of another important thing as well. The last few days, I've sat down with one of the main organizers of the Save Our Children protests, the ones who were protesting against the Muslim community. I've sat down with him. He reached out to me and asked me to go for a cup of coffee. When we were sat down together, he expressed to me, and I respect this because it takes a brave and a strong man to admit that he was wrong. He said to me that he regrets being at that protest in the first place, and he regrets taking all of his followers. He's an ex-MMA fighter. He has lots of influence on the gyms and the martial arts clubs in Liverpool. He said he regretted being there because he's now seen to be somebody who's racist. He said, I'm not a racist person. He said, my daughter is in a dance summer school, and when I saw what happened in Southport, I thought I need to stand up and protect my people. He was taking his anger out in the wrong way, and he was misguided by the narrative what's out there. That's the reality. Then we had a 90-minute discussion, and we discussed issues like the Southport stabbing, like immigration, like the psychology of hatred, we discussed all these things. And by the way, there were other people from the other side who were there at this meeting. And after 90 minutes, it's as if a light bulb came on. And we all realized at the same time, we looked at each other and we said, somebody's playing us against each other here, aren't they? Social media! And they're realizing, and that's what the people of Liverpool do. They don't let anybody mess them around. So what I want to say to you now is thank you for coming with your peace. And I hope that your presence here has scared the horrible, little, violent, evil people to the other end of the planet. <laughs> but, but, those horrible, racist, violent, evil people I still want to invite them into the mosque and I still want them to bring their Islamophobia and I want them to bring me their hatred and I want them to sit down with me and ask me and listen from my mouth and my community's mouths and the hope is that they realize that we are human just like them we're not the devil and we need our community to realize that a lot of them are human. In fact, all of them are, just some of them are not as nice as others. They're, they're all human too. So let's come together. When I say us and them, there shouldn't be a them on either side. Trust me, the vast majority of those people who are at these riots, even the ones who came down to our mosque, 
the, the majority of the ones we spoke to, by the end of the night, they became our friends. They came down to burn our mosque, and we burnt their hang anger and hatred. So thank you to these brave men, and the brave men amongst you, who listened to my message when I was told that some people might have weapons. I said, don't be stupid, put your weapons down. We Muslims are people of peace, not of violence. Because, be careful, they're still going to set the traps for you to fall into. They'll set the traps for you to fall into. You'll go and do some damage, you'll do some violence. They'll take a picture, they'll put you on social media, and they'll say, see, we were right. It's them Muslims who are the problem. We're not the problem. We're the solution. You're the solution. Let's do this together. Assalamu alaikum.
Palestine. Yes, man. You can do a bit of saving yes, now. <laughs> yeah, man. We can drop it. I took my plane, came back. Thank you. 
They just give me it and they say go. I'm just smile on my face. You're welcome, man. I mean, you can't win everything. You can't win everything. I have no idea. No idea. <laughs>